So, we're back here, me doing my little poster collection video. And let me just assure you, though, that the amount of frame posters I have is nothing in comparison to the amount of total posters that I have that I haven't been able to frame yet because I don't have any room. But these are my favorite looking posters. They may not be necessarily the best, most expensive ones, but they are my favorites. So here we go. What you got? What you got? Not on Elm Street 3, the Dream Warriors. I think that's my one of my favorite poster designs of all time. We're the Dream Warriors. And that is the original one sheet. Uh, the the uh, part four poster is also really killer as well. But one of these days, I hope to at least get this signed by um, Lawrence Fishburne. I mean, right. that's a pretty big deal for me. This next one, I just, this more than any other poster, I remember from when I was a kid, the design of this poster, and thought it was fucking awesome, so that's why I framed this one, and hopefully we'll put it up some at some point in time. This is a Scanners poster, David Cronenberg Scanners, which is oddly enough not my favorite Cronenberg movie. I've got the Brew poster, and I've got a Rabbit poster too, and I'll be showing them as well. But this Don't you one, have the um, something from a thin poster? I do, it's right over there. What that's a killer poster, I like that. Yeah, yeah. But that's the scanner poster. That's my favorite design for a Cronenberg poster. I'll put that one. Bow down. Look here. This shit. I could not mm -hmm. find a frame to fit this for some reason. I got a frame to fit mine. What so do you think of that? I just, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I just framed it in a 27 by 40 or 41, I don't remember which, just to have something that's framed. Yeah. I always liked that, though. That I don't know, it's just always... Like we were saying, though, like a lot of our posters always goes back to the painted yeah. designs and stuff, yeah, which they don't do anymore, really. That is true. You don't see a lot of maybe the Hellraiser one, like picture... Actually, the Hellraiser one is painted, too. Uh, oh, people yeah. don't realize that, yep. You can tell by the hands and stuff that it's painted. Oh, shit. Well, anyway, that's the Texas Chainsaw Master Media Entertainment Video poster that you probably already have seen. You! You got one, too! I got one signed. Yeah, that's signed by a bunch of people. What else you got? What else you got? Oh, Lord, yeah. And don't be fooled. This is just a big crack down the fucking frame here. Um, but you need to take better care of your shit. <laughs> this is an original blood diner. Uh poster that I got because you told me about it for a dollar. Yeah, I think it might have been the same guy that had that Forrest poster for a dollar. Yeah. Uh, people you probably already know that we're going to be doing a commentary for this movie when it comes out on DVD. Yeah. But I had this before, like way before we even knew anything about that because it's one of my favorite little known horror films. And as you can see, it appears to be, uh, I don't know if it ever had a theatrical poster but it's got available December 16th down at the bottom of it, so right. I'm assuming that's a video poster of some kind. I don't know. Listen, the taglines are great, though. First they greet you, then they eat you. Oh. You ready to eat my ass? <laughs> no. So there we go. We got Jackie Kong will be happy about this. I'm never going to get to meet Jackie Kong and get her old crazy ass to sign it. She's in the Philippines. Oh, shit. Here is... Uh, Black Christmas poster under the other title, Silent Night, Evil Night. It's uh, one of my favorite slasher films by Bob Clark, God rest his soul. He died probably about two years ago. Um, we had him on the show, actually. It's numbered down here. If you can see, it's 75 out of 148. So I don't really know if that means anything. That's probably just the design of this poster because there are other ones that have like a black bow, right, a black and white bow that have like Black Christmas and there's yeah. another title as well. I think the 75 is the year it came out and then like the 148, I don't know if that's the number of posters they printed or well, I have no idea. Yeah. So, I, the reason I got this was because I always loved this fucking design. I always yeah. thought that that was awesome in the film. It's another painted design, I guess. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, God. This is another poster that's harder than that. I really like that poster. Yeah, it's not. Nice, <laughs> in person, yeah. Oh, hell. Um, that's turning me on. 
I can see some little stains on it where you jacked off on it. Buddy, now listen. That ain't right. I don't blame you. Look at it. It's, hmm. Yeah, this is one of those posters. I'm going to have to get that now. It's one of those posters where when you get it, you just sit there and look at it for a while. Um, it is. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome in person. Oh, God. It's Sleepaway Camp 3, Teenage Wasteland. Uh, Sleepaway Camp is hard to find. Sleepaway Camp 3 is hard to find. Sleepaway Camp 2... It's fucking impossible to find. It's and once you find it, you might as well, yeah. 200 bucks. You're going to have to fucking mortgage your house to yeah. get it. But I like the design of this poster, too. Uh, not as much as Sleepaway Camp 2, but I always like this one. And I don't think Sleepaway Camp 3 had a theatrical run. I think it was just a video. Sleepaway Camp 2 didn't either. Yeah, so it's in the stores November 16th. you got to watch out for it. It's going to be coming out. It's nice. Oh, look at Ow! Ow! <laughs> Oh no, what's this? I'm playing this because it's killed. It is some sort of a, I can't even tell you what country of origin this is. But I think it's Turkish. Yeah, I bought it at the Whorehound. He's going down over there. What the hell's that dog doing? <laughs> trying to blow himself? He can blow himself, which is I'm very envious of. Um, this is, I bought it at the Whorehound Weekend. Because Roddy Piper was going to be there, and I wanted him to sign something. I could never find the original They Live poster, so I just bought this. And as you can see, he signed it. I've come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubble gum. Roddy Piper! <laughs> but I like the design of this one, too, because the original poster has just got him holding the glasses up to his eyes. And, you know, that's here, too, but you also got one of the little alien fuckers, and you got... Buck Flowers. That's the real selling point to me. It was have fucking Buck Flowers in there. Although it doesn't look much like him. But it looks exactly like him in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that one. Looks like Waylon Jennings to me. <laughs> it is Waylon Jennings. <laughs> look here. It's an original uh, 1985 Day of the Dead poster one sheet. Mm. I like the way they had this set up, which was... First, there was Night of the Living Dead, and you got that little black part, and there was Dawn of the Dead, and then the darkest day of all the world's ever known, it's Day of the Dead. <laughs> so, that one and Takes a Chance on Massacre are probably the two I paid the most money for. I think I paid 70 some bucks for that poster. But listen. Bottom line is, that movie's killer, and for that price, it was one of the cheaper, I mean, more expensive ones that I could afford at that time. Like, if I want to buy a Dawn of the Dead poster, I have to pay $100 if it's just that poster. If I want a green Dawn of the Dead poster, I have to pay $300. I'm not going to do that. I just bought a Day of the Dead poster. I'm happy. So here we are in the world-famous Dead Pit Studios in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. We're not going to tell you exactly where we're at because we know there's a lot of thievery going on here in Prestonsburg. So, a lot of you some bitches want to try to steal our shit, that ain't going to fucking happen. And this is also serves as our storage facility for all of our great merchandise over at Dead Pit. You can pick up get that off, Dead Pit on the Road Season 1 right now. It's a great little DVD. Over three and a half hours of features and horror goodness. Go to deadpit.com for all that, Dead Pit on the Road Season 1. So, one of my favorite things that I got over the past year or so is definitely this cast signed Friday the 13th one sheet signed by Victor Miller, the writer, the star, and lone survivor Adrian King, who's a lovely lady baby. And I didn't say anything, Adrian King, if you will, when we met a baby, I gave her a dead pit shirt and she kissed me on the cheek, if you will, it, 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 it it gave me a special feeling inside, Cole. She's an older looking lady, but she looks nice to me, baby. So I like that. Harry Manfredini, the, the composer and a great guy, hilarious guy, really gets our show. And uh, Betsy Palmer, who felt awful bad for charging us, but she still did, didn't she, Uncle Bill? She had to, though. Um, but it's worth it. Tom Savini, right there, he just signed the knife. He's like, shit! I don't want to waste one of my gold choppies on this post. I'm just going to sign it on the knife. And Ari Lehman, give him 20. Although he didn't he didn't make us give him 20. But he signed it for free for us because we're sort of the big deal. He knows we're killer. 
That's an original poster, though. Yep, that's an original one sheet. Another one that was ten dollars, and something else. Let me move my dividends real quick so you guys can see the the bottom of these. Like the dates were usually either stamped on there or uh, wrote, you know. So I thought that was pretty cool. And usually, like the um, if you can see that really clearly, that means you got an original. If it has Usually if it has the, the date and all that stuff on there, it's original, so. But it's beautiful and I love it. Ah. So we move onward over here. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. And uh, I think it was the first Nightmare on Elm Street movie I saw in theaters, so. I enjoy it. I enjoy the poster. I actually like all the Nightmare on Elm Street posters, don't you, Uncle Bill? I do, they're all killer. So, uh, Nightmare on Street 4, The Dream Master, starring Robert Englund. I always really, I don't know, the Freddy design on that always, always looked like that design. Uh, and over here, I guess we can move onward because, you know, we got a lot of posters to get to, folks. Make no mistake about it. That's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre video poster right there. And uh, I got that signed over a period of three years at the Fright Night Film Fest. Signed by pretty much the entire cast that's still alive in that ride, Uncle Bill. That's right. So, this uh, is a hard poster to get, too, trust me. I know. Yeah, I believe you were looking for it for a few years, right? I sure was. This is almost, but not quite as hard to find as Sleepaway Camp 2. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's at least not as expensive as Sleepaway Camp 2. Um... But yeah, I mean, that was the poster, like, everybody has the reprint of the original one sheet, which is a cool poster, too. But that's the poster I remember as a kid, actually. It seems to be signed multiple times up there. Yeah. Signed by uh, Jerry, Alan Danziger, Marilyn Burns, who played Sally, Gunnar Hansen, Leatherface, Ed Neal, the Hitchhiker, William Bell, who played Kirk, Terry McMinn, which is still probably the rarest autograph of the bunch, played Pam which is my favorite shot of the movie where you saw her luscious behind in that maroon pair of shorts, baby. And then uh, John Dugan, who's grandpa. John Funny Dugan. thing about John Dugan, real quick, before we go on to the next posters. I dare you. I dare you to find a time John Dugan to convince you where he's sober. <laughs> this is my Texas Chainsaw Massacre reproduction poster signed by pretty much the entire cast and... Toby Hooper! What does like Right here is Toby Hooper. It says to Aaron. Toby fucking Hooper. <laughs> you proud of that, ain't you? I got this. I didn't actually get this signed myself, but I sent this to uh, old Kelly Marcotte, Kelly the Beast, and he got that part of it signed. Right here, I got the rest of it signed. You got John Dugan, and then Terry McMinn, and of course, William Bell, Alan Danziger. Gunnar Hansen, Marilyn Burns, and Ed Neal. So, it's pretty much signed by everybody you can really get the poster signed by except for... Kim Hinkle. Yeah, Kim Hinkle. Fuck Kim Hinkle, by the way. See, this is a reproduction poster because I was scared to fucking death to get my original Texas Chainsaw Master poster signed. Here's the thing. Like, I, If it's a, a $30, $40 poster or something like that, or even a little bit higher, I'll get it signed. When you get into shit like original Halloween posters like you got and Texas Chainsaw Massacre posters and shit that just scares the fuck out of me for some reason cause there might be a point in time where I want to sell that and it will be personalized to my ass the Hellraiser this is a reprint of course this is another one I got signed at Horrifying 2004 my very first convention and uh, it's signed by Ashley Lawrence and Doug Bradley Pinhead himself and believe it or not Doug Bradley signed that for five bucks back then five dollars and Ashley Lawrence, oh my God, what an awesome looking lady. She was great too, wasn't she? But she's very nice. I got a picture with her. She would love you. Let me tell you something. I just want to fop her up with a biscuit. Mm. Well, the weird thing about this poster is, though, this is not the original one sheet, but you actually do have an original yeah, one sheet. Yeah, you might see that sometime down the line. Mm. An original one sheet of Hellraiser, but... That one's signed, so that'll probably be the only one I ever get signed because I don't want to really spend any more money on autographs. 
So, definitely one of the rarest ones that I've got right here. This is a Don't Go in the Woods Alone uh, one sheet poster, which a lot of people, you either love this movie or you hate this movie. Most of the people hate the movie, but I always enjoyed it. Um, I got this one on eBay probably about four or five years ago. And uh, I just, I don't know, I always love the artwork on that poster. And it's, it, when I say rare, I mean, it's pretty damn rare. I think we interviewed James Bryan on the show uh, about the poster. I asked him about the poster. And he's saying something like there was like around 200, maybe a little over 200 that was actually ever made. Because, like, when it comes to prints, they only made like a handful of prints and just run them all across the country, you know. Shopped them around all across the country, so... It's rare, and I'm glad it's in my collection, Uncle Bill. Oh, me too. Look at what's this over here. Another this over slasher. Here? Oh shit! Which uh, we're going to be having a 35 millimeter screening of this big bad boy is Madman, and uh, this poster's not too hard to find. Definitely the rare of uh, the two is this one. The other one just has the Madman silhouette and doesn't have the cartoon couple, which. A lot of people shit on this poster just because of the cartoon couple, but... I don't know why. Look at that. I don't know. I thought it was awesome. Look at that fucking guy. Yeah. And that one, of course, is signed by the madman, Paul Ellers, and uh, he inscribed it, you know, and drew a little madman on there, so I thought that was really cool of him to do that. Really, uh, really great guy, Paul Ellers. So, an awesome movie. You'll get to see it in 35 millimeter. Right Night Film Fest in a little over a month. Big time fans of Slasher Cinema, you all will appreciate this next poster I have. Take a look at it over here. By sword, by pick, by axe, by bye. This is the Mutilator. And a cool story about the Mutilator poster that we got. Me and Uncle Bill both have this poster. It is original, it is rolled. And odds are you're not going to find a rolled mutilator poster anywhere online. I've never ever seen one. How did we get one, Uncle Bill? We're very special people because Buddy Cooper himself, the director of the mutilator, this come from his personal stash. And a big fan of the show, uh, I think the guy's name is KNJHorror.com, sent us both rolled one sheets of the mutilator poster. And it's actually got a little thing that came down there with it. It said, filmed entirely on location in Atlantic Beach and Moorhead City, North Carolina. So, I'm not, I mean, The Mutilator is a cool movie. Not one of my favorite slasher movies, but the, you can't deny how awesome the poster is. What's up here, buddy? What's up here? So, up here is one of my childhood favorites, folks. Directed by Fred Decker, starring Andre Gower. It's the Monster Squad. And this is another one that goes for quite a bit of money. Um, and it's signed by Andre Gower, who's a cool guy. Actually, he signed it for nothing. We gave him a dead pit. Uh, has my iPhone going on. <laughs> we gave him a uh, dead pit t-shirt. Signed a poster for nothing. I thought that was awesome. So... Next one up over here, I don't know if you can get this in, is an original Halloween for The Return of Michael Myers, um, which was the first Halloween movie I'd ever seen as a kid. Um, I, it happened a lot for some reason. Like I would see a lot of these movies out of order. Like The first Friday the 13th movie I ever saw was Part 6. The first Psycho movie I ever saw was Part 2. And this was the first Halloween movie I'd ever seen, Halloween 4, so go figure. But this is a great movie. The Luthieth Danielle Harris signed that poster. And I gotta say, you know, I mean, Uncle Bill's got, not got a great opinion of Danielle Harris as far as, like, what he thought of her as a person or whatever. But I gotta say, probably one of the best looking women I've ever seen up close. No doubt. So, there you go, there's Halloween 4. So, uh, the last one I got here isn't really a horror poster, but I always liked this poster. And uh, this is one of the only ones I ever saw that actually has, I think the, oh, the guy's name is Paul Smith, who's also in uh, Pieces and uh, Midnight Express, has him with the bone on it. And his weapon in the movie was a bone. And the movie, of course, is Red Sonia. But uh, it's a French poster, and its uh, French title is Calidon. Mark 
Scoot, J Dog. So, of course, this concludes the frame posters that I have. Make no mistake about it, though. I got plenty more posters to show you guys, uh, as does Uncle Bill. So, stay tuned. This is going to be a multi part video. Um, it'll probably stretched out for weeks, months, maybe even years. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed my frame stuff. I will be back, though. And so will Uncle Bill here on Dead Pit. Don't go!